So guys, I know you've seen this project before. This was the worst cleanup ever. It was pretty bad. I mean, this thing hadn't been touched in like two or three years, something like that. Make sure you check out that video. I'll have a uh, card pop out. I believe it it's. Side I believe it. Side. It's either above my finger or above Blake's, one or the other. But if you haven't checked out that video, check out that video because it shows all of this place and how bad it was. But uh, we actually got the opportunity to work with the customer to transform her backyard. After we did that little bit of cleanup, she decided she wanted to go a step further. Um, I had just done training with Blake on stonemakers, learning how to do these walls, patios kitchens, countertops, and I saw an opportunity to go with that and see if she would uh, be willing to do some of this in her backyard. She was excited about it. Got to work with Blake's guy that does all of his renderings. Uh, Justin is an awesome guy. He does all his editing and does the renderings, helps in his office, but uh, Justin helped do the rendering. Blake came over here and helped me make the cell. It took a roughly about 10 days to knock this thing out. Blake and I actually uh, kind of cut out in the middle of it and took a little trip up to Chicago. Uh, if you do want to see our uh, antics up there, Blake did a video of Aquascape, so make sure you check that video out. I was kind of slacking, I didn't do one, so make sure you check his out. I stole some of this footage though. Yeah, some of that, some <laughs> of that sweet footage he's got is actually mine. <laughs> pretty cool we got like you said we got on this project it took 10 days but we were able to utilize um, you know my resources and you know just my experience in it and Kevin was able to you know kind of have our help as he steps off into this hardscape uh, journey uh, with his business and so it was a lot of fun to be a part of it we actually had some other guys come down from other companies that were interested in the uh, in this product and being able to use it and just kind of shadow us for the day But all in all, I mean, it really turned out good. Um, I was I was excited. That first night was rough, uh, yeah. extremely rough. That was we, a bad day. Yeah, first day, um, not sure how it looks on camera, how you actually portray it, but we showed up, did all the prep, got all the rebar in, dug all the footers, dug the pond, and then poured 10 yards of concrete. So, it was crazy. And that 10 yards of concrete felt more like 15 yards of concrete. It was absolutely the never ending truck that day. Yeah, so it was, yeah, it was crazy. Um, and then what did we leave, like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, something like that? It was that. pretty late that night. Yeah, and you know, that's the thing about this, guys. We were able to take that one truck that first day. I was working on the pond. Kevin was back here pouring the wall. We had another one of our guys on the walkway. Somebody else was stacking the concrete on the kitchen. We had one guy running the machine for us. So, I mean, there was a, we had a team out there that day. Um, but even then, that 10 yards was, was brutal because of how spread out we were. Yeah. And all the different things we had going on. And uh, I think that, you know, once we were able to kind of everybody, you started wrapping your wall up. Uh, Jared started wrapping up the walkway. I was wrapped up on the pond. And we all came together on the kitchen and the steps is really, you know, when we were knocking it out.
A couple of the little upgrades that we did was we actually added in another flower bed in the corner to kind of break up the yard back here. She's never really had grass back here, so we were able to add this sod for her. This is a uh, shade tolerant zoysia is what we ended up putting back here. Blake's guys came out. I believe it was on a Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. They were out here on a Saturday and knocked this out in no time. Uh, added in a couple tree rings. I think she is really excited with her transformation of her backyard. I know I am. I'm excited to be able to take care of it and like know that every other week I'm gonna be here and I get to see the project that was my very first stonemaker's project. I'm gonna get to be around it for a long time to come. One of the cool things we did is we actually built this wall back here that you see behind Blake and I right now. Uh, this is just an aesthetic wall. It's not actually retaining anything except for the ivy. We thought it was a perfect way. She wants her ivy that's growing up the tree like this. I mean, it really does look nice right. once it's all maintained. So it actually gives it a designated space in the backyard. Another thing with that wall is we went to 18 inches tall so they can be utilized as a seating bench. So anytime that she's back here with friends or family, you've got an overflow seating for anybody that wants to sit down really anywhere. So right. that's what I like about that. And it's not just that little, you know, edging wall. Um, it's more like a trip hazard. One of the cool things about this waterfall is it's not like Blake's typical waterfall. He's been doing these gigantic, huge waterfalls and this one is quite a bit smaller but uh you know with something like these big waterfalls they're kind of expensive and with a smaller water feature your customer's gonna get a water feature but it doesn't eat up the whole budget they're able to get things like the little retaining wall back here the kitchen that they wanted and us to be able to do the stairs and the walkway but then they're still able to get that sound of water in their outdoor living space where they're going to sit out and enjoy that so a big thank you to blake here for helping me out with this project I, there is no way i could have done this without him uh, this being my very first stonemaker's job it was really kind of out of my league i guess <laughs> you know i've only been trained for about a month two months max and uh, I'm still learning every day. But uh, getting to take on something like this kind of put my feet to the fire. I learned a lot really fast taking on a project. And it gave me a lot of confidence for the next big project right. that uh, I'm going to be able to step up to it and take care of it. Blake and I are still going to be working on a lot of projects together. I want you guys to follow along as we do that. Watch me learn this stuff. Watch him teach me this stuff. Maybe one day you guys will come out and check this stuff out as well.